Hi everybody, hope you're all well. It's Friday at last and it's time for me to run through our next release which is going to be happening this evening, Friday the 1st of July and they'll also be available in Stamp Corner online for all of our European friends. So um, I'm going to start by going through the A6 sets. The first one is called Alpaca My Book. Kind of going back to my roots a little bit here with the alpacas in the sketchy style um, that we do sometimes and they're each they've each got a book so there's um this one here says how to sing alpaca pella on the front so just some puns it's really tiny writing you don't have to be able to read it and it doesn't really matter what the book is um but i've just tried to make it a little bit funny this one's called the alpaca lips um this one's just holding the um a book or a newspaper or something under his arm and this um bird is reading the birdie guard and then we've got the little book here that says read me and the sentiments say have the best day ever alpaca my book um, make the next chapter your best and turn the page and then we've got some hearts and just like a little a little books um, bit there so you can make up the love books um, these are really fun to play with uh, this one this little fella actually has got little stripy socks on which is quite cute um, and yeah they're really fun to color um, really good for things like bookmarks and, and different things and for um, making 3D, you know, the paper under his arm, making it 3D or the or the book that they're reading, stacking them up um, so that the little bird maybe is sat on top of one of the alpaca's heads reading. So um, just really fun set to play with. And yeah, that's, that's Alpaca My Book. The next one I've got is called So Mushroom and for obvious reasons. Well, they're actually toadstools, but so mushroom. Um, so these these little pair here, they're like little make-believe mushroom characters, toadstool characters. Um, a little girl and a boy, and they can be holding hands if they want to. We've got some foliage in there. We've got a little balloon. They could be holding a balloon. And then we've got a bunny with a toadstool hat on and a elephant with a toadstool hat on. And then it says, so mushroom in my heart for you. Happy wishes. Love you lots. And again, like I say, the foliage is great for building up like a little wreath or um, like a background scene to stand the little characters on. And although they look great with their sort of conventional red um, red mushroom or toadstool um, hats with the white spots, it's really fun to sort of mix it up a little bit. I've done some where they've got blue, um, blue hats on. So it's a really fun one to play with and build up some scenes and different things like that. So that's So Mushroom. Next one I've got is Scooter, and I mean, it's pretty obvious why it's called Scooter. Uh, we've got two little elephants here going in the opposite directions, a bear and a rhino, and the sentiments say, they see me rolling, for anyone that knows those that um, song, and scooting through life, I wheelie love you, and just a happy birthday, and then a little accent stamp there that almost looks like a, a wheel off the scooter. Again, this one's really fun to play with. If you're not into scooters, or you, do, I mean, this is great for, for kids' cards and different things, and obviously scooters are sort of quite up to the minute. But if you're not into scooters, there are ways of changing up these sets, and I've done a, um, a few different examples. I thought I'd just show you this one. So this one, I've just removed the scooters, and just they're just holding the, um, the hello from our Hello Happy stamp set. So there's lots of different ways to change it up. So don't just think, oh, I'm not really into scooters. The little characters are so cute um, and they look actually really cool just scooting across the page in a little line. So all following each other and, and so on. So that's Scooter. The next one I've got is Bunch of Love. And the idea behind this one is we've got three different vases that you could set up next to each other if you wanted to you can even add i've put little faces on here so you can put faces on the vases as well if you want to and then you can just pick what you put into the vase so there's different flowers here and foliage and different things and then the simple sentiment just says sending a whole bunch of love but equally if you don't want to use the vases and you want to change things up a little bit you can see on this card here i've just literally used some of the the foliage just to create a really simple um, card there so that's that's that one. Also, I've used, interestingly, I've mixed up these two stamp sets. You wouldn't think that they'd go very well together, but I've actually used the foliage and then used the little bear off his scooter to create this one and then just use the sentiments and sending a whole bunch of love. 
So really sort of think outside the box. These little berries here are just literally this tiny little stamp. So don't underestimate the little stamps on, on these sets. Um, it's really fun to build up a, a bigger picture um, with those. So that's a bunch of love. The next one I've got is called Grateful. And again, it's kind of lends itself to mixed media and art journaling kind of makes as well, or just really simple cards. The idea being is that you've got two solid uh, dots. Excuse my fingers, they're really inky while I've been playing with these stamps. Um, so you've got the two different size dots and then you can overlay. So you could do the stamp these in, in a colour and then maybe overlay with some of the other um, bits, maybe in black or a darker colour. And then the sentiment just says grateful and then there's three different things that you could put with it. it you could say grateful, that is all, grateful for you or grateful for us. And this isn't necessarily the colours you choose to use, but I've just done this as an example so you can see how you can overlay the different um, the different detailed stamps on top of the solid. So this one actually says work hard in silence, let success be your noise. So it's a fun way to play this up. Obviously you could just you could just literally use the spots as a background if you wanted to. I think that looks quite fun. So that's that one. And also you can use them across the bottom to make it look like blooms. So I've I've literally used the the spot here across the card and then I've picked different um, elements just to add in and then the little vine portion here I've used as stems here as well. So it's quite a fun way of, so it's a good one for playing. It's a good one for um, using on your backgrounds, maybe inky backgrounds or, or different things like that. And then just using them as accents. But equally, like I said, you can actually build up a, a focal point using these as well. So a really useful set to have. So that's grateful. The next set I've got is actually a Christmas set. Well, it doesn't have to be Christmas, of course. Anyone that knows me knows that I don't tend to do just Christmas sets because um, I want you to be able to use them year round to get the best value for money. So it's got four little penguins on here. One of them has got the antlers, which makes them a bit more Christmassy. And this, this little guy can be tumbling, so you can imagine him stamped across your card looking like he's, he's tumbling through or even used as a snow angel. I've got some examples of that as well. So there's lots of examples that are gonna be coming up to show you how to use these stamps. The other good thing about this is that I've actually coloured the penguins in so that the um, so that the black part is done already for you. So when you stamp it, you don't have to worry about colouring in the black, which I know can be challenging for some people. I find it challenging um, to get that nice deep black, but but with um, you know with some depth to it. So um, yeah, so really fun to use those and paper piecing woolly um, the the, some, um, the knitted background out of our alpaca uh, paper pad. Um, there's a knitted back, there's a knitted paper in there and you can paper piece the hat to make it look like it's woolly. So um, that's really fun. Also, obviously they've got their little welly boots on and the sentiments say, chill out, have an ice day, have a cool crimbo, happy Christmas, have a flipping great day and what'll I do without you? So as I say, it's kind of Christmassy, but penguins obviously are around anyway all year round so you know it doesn't have to be Christmas it could just be for um, maybe a winter birthday or um, just building up a scene or something like that so that's what will I do next one is just because and again this is more of a mixed media um, kind of art journal type stamp set but it also works really well this this quite large portion here um, works great as a background for the cute little critters um, and the sentiments again are, are good for across the board. They say thank you, happy wishes, thinking of you, and just because. And the text um, kind of it's like um, inverse text, so um, black portion with where the um, text will be in reverse, if you see what I mean. So that it will show the colour of the card behind. And then this this little bit at the back at the bottom here, it looks like. Um, a paint stripe or a washi tape stripe or something like that and then the two little hearts so these are great for building up different backgrounds i'll just show you here i've actually used it up the other way even though the text is going almost the wrong way um, i've actually used it to ground my little scooter fella here so um there's loads of different ways you can use this great for backgrounds great for focal points um and it's quite a sizable stamp so that's the full a6 um 
stamp set there that, that's sort of from top to bottom. So um, really useful on this one. I've not stopped using it. I've used it on a lot of different cards. So I'm excited to show you how I've done that um, going forward. So keep your eyes open for that. So that was just be, sorry, that was just because. So that's all the A6 ones for this release. And then I've got some A5. So this one's called Online Meeting. And the idea behind this one is that you can build up again um, your scenes. There's a kind of um, power pole type thing here. And then you can pop your birds on, on the wire or without a wire, or you can use these kind of sentiment lines as if they were a wire. And um, I like the idea, I've, I've actually created some cards, which again, I'll show you in the coming days, where I don't actually draw the wire and um, I just pop the birds here and it says what one of the sentiments says wireless technology at its best um, then we've got together our favorite place to be and then I've got met online how tweet and online meeting how tweet find your balance so you could have them stacked up maybe or maybe the bird stacked on top of the dog's head um, we've got top bird then this really long one here that you could use as a border actually says thanks for the smiles thanks for the tears thanks for being there all through the years and then the the three kind of scripty bits here that could look like wires but they actually say absolutely flipping fabulous sending happy thoughts and with love now these are great just for sentiments in their own right across your cards in fact you may have seen some sneaky peeks on my um instagram uh, where I've used these as a sentiment on a, on a different using the, the first part of our release with maybe the streaky bacon I think it was um, so there's loads of different ways to use this and it's a fun way of kind of building up your set so like I say um, by stamping the pole and then popping your birds across um, it you know you can you can really have fun you know put as many as you want on there um, the birds are really cute they've all got different faces this one I've actually put the wings up so that it could be hanging upside down from that so you could have them all in a line and then one hanging upside down so um, lots of different ways and the dog is so cute so there's loads of different ways you could use that um, stamp set and good for playing with and I can't wait to show you some examples of what I've done with this um, the, these long um, kind of border stamps are the hearts here and the and the text and different things like that they're so useful they're great for creating frames and borders and and different things like that and work really well with all our other different stamps as well so that's online meeting the next one I've got is bright side so the idea behind this was that I wanted to kind of um, some characters but they you can color them in rainbows you obviously realize that probably by now that um, that I love my rainbows in my crafting. So I wanted to sort of follow that through with some characters. So we've got a peacock here that you can color in like it's got a rainbow um, feathers there. A snail, which again, you can color the stripes in rainbow around here. We've got the butterfly that looks like it's got rainbow wings. The tortoise with the rainbow shell and the elephant with the rainbow ears. And then we've got a couple of the ladybirds there going in different directions so they could be, um, you know, created for things like valentine's cards and stuff like that and um it's real fun, really again like a fun set to play with you can be as creative as you want with the colors or you can just create you can just color them in the conventional colors if you want to it's nothing to say that you know how it has to be um the sentiments say so thankful for you hey look on the bright side wishing you bright and beautiful days dream in color and then this little accent stamp saying love and then we've got some hearts and different things here um, high and then across the top again this one could be used for a, a border if you wanted to but it actually says super califragilistic xbl amazing so um just a slight take on that um that mary poppins saying so a different um different take on that so again really fun set um really bright and cheerful great for kids cards but equally like i say color them up in conventional colors or um depending on who you're sending the card to, maybe pick their favorite colors. And it just, by having the different stripes and, and the rainbow effect um, on the ears and different things, it just allows you to, to introduce some colors that maybe you wouldn't normally when you're coloring an elephant or, or a peacock or something like that. So that's bright side. And then last but not least is Camper Cuties. Now, um, absolutely love the whole camper van kind of theme. And this is obviously an old fashioned camper van, but um, I just love that you can pick and choose. So there's 
actually seven different characters here and you can pick who sits in the so you stamp your camper van out first and then you can pick who's actually in the in the um, windscreen here so we've got a um, well this could be a bear it could be a kangaroo whatever you like um, I, I kind of was thinking kangaroo but obviously without being able to see the pouch you wouldn't necessarily know it's that um, but to sit next to the koala maybe is a bit of an Aussie theme there um, and then there's a bear with his glasses on there's a little dog or a bear or whatever you wanted it to be singing there you've got a cat a dog and a hippo and um, you'll see here that the dog and the koala, you can actually see the part of the steering wheel there. So you can stamp it to look like they're actually steering the car. There's also four little options that you can stamp in your number plate. So it says you forever, HB to you, so happy birthday to you, hey you, and you are one for me. So those, you can pick and choose what you want to put in the, um, the number plate there. Then we've got some sentiments, live more, worry less, let's be adventurers, life is a journey enjoy the ride and oh the places you'll go and this is such a great set it's, it's quite big so you could actually make shaped cards with this by using um, the camper van as your your shape it's it's fairly easy to cut out and you can also have fun with things like using acetate i'll show you an example i've done here where i've used acetate for the windscreen so i've just 3d'd it up i've also used some some metal and stamped onto metal for the for the bumper I've used one of the sentiments there in the number plate and I've picked the koala and the and the hippo there. But um, I've also made shaker cards um, with it in the windscreen like that. Um, really, really fun. Um, you know, the, it's just your imagination really. You can just take this as far as you want with this, this cute set. Um, equally, I've also made some cards where I've not used the camper van. I've just used the characters and popped them in little... Um, kind of frames um, within within a card so I'm excited to show you lots of examples of how I've used all these sets the main thing I want to say about them is obviously they've been designed in a certain way but I have found so many different uses for them so like I say this one is all about the camper van but equally you don't have to use the camper van portion you can use the characters on their own so always try and think outside the box think about different ways you could use them that's perhaps not how they were designed but um, just you know make your imagination work for you so that's the last one that's camper cuties so that's it for for this release i hope you like it and um, i can't wait to show some inspiration with you over the coming days of how i've used the different sets and um yeah really excited so thanks very much for watching and um have a good weekend thank you